James Blanis. This wine is next from the producer Blackbird Vineyards. This wine is called Dissonance. It's a Napa Valley Sauvignon Blanc 2020 vintage. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about this outstanding Sauvignon Blanc. I have tasted a few Blackbird Vineyards wines. I'll place those videos right up here. And I think the Sauvignon Blanc is exceptional because I think to me, I like this combination of 81% Sauvignon Blanc and 19% Semillon. It's a really nice, fantastic, sophisticated, beautiful Sauvignon Blanc. So here we go with this wine. Let me show you the label, close screw cap. And uh, I, I like the names The dissonance. Each of their wines um, has a different name and uh, really great artwork. Back label for you to look at here. Now, what I find very exceptional about this wine is its price point. This is a $20 suggested retail price point. A $20 price point from Napa is completely rare. You do not see it that often. I like the price point on this wine. I like the price point uh, in general from Blackbird Vineyards. I think they do an exceptional job. And uh, I think unlike many a producer in Napa, which has actually skyrocketed in pricing uh, over the past few years above inflation, is something that I think a lot of people are looking for another solution. They want to drink Napa Valley wines, but the pricing has gotten to be a bit expensive. I think the quality on this wine is fantastic. And it does say on the back label here that the winemaker crafted by winemaker Aaron Potts, the white wine is a dissonant to our portfolio of harmonious red wines. And so I think this is just an absolute stunning, gorgeous wine. This is a 14.1% ABV wine. Now this wine is stirred in leaves for four months. The barrel regimen is clay amphora and 30% new French oak and uh, 80 barrels produced in total. I'm using a wine wings glass because I like the, uh, the way it's going to characterize white wines in particular. And um, one thing I don't like is a sloshing noise. You know, I'm sure you can hear that a bit, but uh, in general, it gives a nice characterization to this wine. So nose of gooseberry, green citrus, white peach, and floral notes. Next is the palate characterization. Absolutely superb acidity on this wine. It's, uh, I think that's such a, a beautiful wine in that I do get some gooseberry characterization on the nose, but not on the palate. And so if some people are not liking that gooseberry characterization, i.e. a lot of New Zealand wines, not all of them are that way, by the way. And uh, so this is one wine where you might want to think about that characterization. So on the palate, I'm getting a superbly, appreciably dry wine, golden citrus zest, Meyer lemon, hint of thyme, as well as seashells. This wine is 93 points out of 100 points. More information on the producer down below. Questions you can leave there or in the social medias that I'm on that you're probably on as well, such as Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And I think this wine is to be sought after and you can buy directly from the producer if you can receive wines from California to your address. I think to me it's an exceptional wine and definitely consider the red wines. And uh, again, you see the videos right up here in the YouTube cards and uh, definitely seek out this wine. And thank you for watching, stay connected, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you already have, molto grazie to you, I do appreciate that. And share this video with somebody looking for a good, well-priced Napa Valley Sauvignon Blanc. More videos to come. Come back to the tasting table. I will see you very soon. Sante.